you know, it's a little cold outside to be wearing a t-shirt, but not as cold as these Con Ed suckers. I just had to pay $7,000 for my Con Edison bill. Three months worth of electricity in my slumlord warehouse after these suckers threatened to turn my power off. And that's not the first time. I've paid $30,000 in electric bills in a year and a half in this godforsaken warehouse. You know the CEOs of Con Edison must have a very expensive taste in Brazilian boys because I cannot for the life of me comprehend why they would need to steal so much money from people. Unfortunately, I didn't know my lawyer was Jewish when I hired him. The retainer was $3,500 to file a case against Con Edison. He took my payment, refused to file the lawsuit, and then dropped me as a client. Two weeks later, Con Ed threatens to turn my power off, so I had to pay it. And with my entire meat inventory in the freezer, I didn't really have a choice. So you know, I wasn't planning on having to pay Con Edison almost another $10,000, but because of my scumbag lawyer, go figure. And I was actually going to make this video before all of the Russia-Ukraine power nonsense, because it was that bad. Con Edison already had a crazy monopoly on power supply and was overcharging people. Now it's just getting crazier and crazier. Some Riverdale residents say their Con Edison bills have surged ever since the utility installed digital smart meters in their homes. Laura and Matt Dash say they were shocked when their latest Con Edison bill amounted to $5,000. The couple believes their monthly electrical usage is being multiplied by six, making their total bill for January to February almost $900. They say they never had this issue prior to living with a smart meter and their bills have never been this high. Surging Con Ed bills leave New Yorkers with electric burns. When temperatures go down, your bills often go up, especially if you've got electric heating. But Con Ed customers in New York City are seeing big spikes in what they're being charged this month, even though many aren't using significantly more electricity. Andrea Lewis's bill more than tripled in one month, leaping from $163 in December to a whopping $512 by the end of January. Oh my god, I just got my January Con Ed Gas Plus electric bill and it doubled from last month's $300 to $600. Is everyone's Con Ed bill go up last month? My bill is $100 more despite using less electricity. The cost per kilowatt went from $0.06 cents to $0.18. Cents. Ridiculous. Yeah, doubled. Curious as to what everyone's doing about it. The website doesn't really offer too much info about payment plans or options. So I'm just going to pay towards it, but I can't pay at all. And the answer to that, buddy, is absolutely nothing. At my business, they did a whole investigation, came to their own conclusion that they, Con Edison, were correct. After that, I filed the complaint through the Public Service Commission several times, and all they did was have Con Edison handle it. So a month or two after you file with the Public Service Commission, the clowns at the Public Service Commission just respond with an email saying that Con Edison will take it from here. <laughs> what? What the hell is the point of the Public Service Commission if they already bought and paid for by Con Ed? Same with lawyers. None of them wanted to even consider filing a complaint against Con Edison Court. They said, oh, you'd get laughed out of court. Don't bother. I don't care. Do it. And they didn't do it. This has to be one of the most ridiculous monopolies I've had to deal with. Even with the social media presence, making videos, nothing has come close to helping. I'm tired of killing myself every day trying to provide healthy products to people at affordable prices and all my profits are going to these scumbags. I cannot expand the business, I cannot continue to run it, I can't pay employees if nonsense like this keeps happening by scumbag fucking elite degenerates, fucking cocksuckers. Now if that wasn't enough for you guys, just in the past week it has hit the news that Con Edison is filing a nearly 20% increase in electric rates and 30% for gas starting next year. They're actually holding public hearings in late March, which seems pointless because we know that they're just gonna increase the prices anyway. The Public Service Commission is just another government entity designed to protect big corporations. That's the real purpose for almost all government programs. Help the elite psychopaths 
line their wallets. You're supposed to believe that organization is looking out for you and Con Edison is fair business practice. But they just let it all happen in plain sight. Fucking ridiculous. Well, thank you guys for joining me. Hey, look, if they control the power, if they control the court systems, what else am I going to do besides call them a bunch of dirty cocksuckers? I mean, at least I'm going to have some fun with it, right? Uh, so you guys can go to frank com to support me through all of my businesses. Hey, look, maybe we'll eventually make enough money. I'll have a nice solar panel somewhere. I won't have to pay the electric bill anymore. And I'll spend my spare time jerking off onto pictures of the Con Ed CEO's daughters. How fun would that be? They're probably as ugly as their fucking fathers. Go figure. Well, that's enough for today, guys. Let's see how this goes.